My name is John Wayne Kennedy. Well, the best way to describe it is to give you the background from the time I was born, because that had a great deal to do with what I'm doing nowadays. Being raised on, a, at the very beginning, raised on a dairy farm uh, was probably one, one of the best educations that I or anybody could have. I see a lot of these new shows where they uh, uh, talk about survival. Well, that was basically what we were doing. My mother and dad had bought me a, a Gilbert chemistry set in a little blue iron box. And I started reading that and I started doing my chemistry experiments and I loved every second of it. By the time I was 13, I was already making my own formulations and they had a formulation in there for black powder. Well, black powder is gunpowder. The University of Wisconsin at Madison, and uh, I went through that in four and a half years. I took uh, double majors in science. And from there, I went on to a graduate st a school in New York, New York University. I became a federal inspector in New York and was transferred, promoted, transferred to Chicago and, and worked there on the ships, uh, inspecting ships and uh, in the aircraft at O'Hare Field. And from there, I was promoted into Hoboken, New Jersey, where I was in the uh, permit uh, division. From Hoboken, I was promoted again to assistant staff officer in Washington, D.C and I was brought right in to try to uh, uh, implement new technologies for the use on the bull weevil eradication program, including the Grand Lure, which was uh, used in crap, uh, trapping uh, bull weevils in a particular area and killing them all. I, I liked what I was doing very well. I mean, I was the, being a staff officer was a fantastic honor and it was a great challenge. But being the kind of guy I was, I said, I'm not going to do this anymore. I think I'm going to go out on my own and start my own business and see what I could do on the registration of pesticides. And I had over 90 companies from 19 countries. I still had the urge to be a scientist. And I think it was growing up in, on a farm and having a curiosity about everything around me that led me to go to um, looking at uh, ways of helping uh, the science become better. My real first experience with uh, something very unusual was I was asked uh, to go to Australia and check out a, uh, a plant combination of, uh, they had about five plants in, in a formulation that they claimed could cure cancer. And it worked. It actually worked. It was very painful on the, the patient, unfortunately, but you have the cancer or you have the, the uh, hurt for a little bit. Eventually that led to uh, one of my very first patents and the um, mitigation of uh, uh, plant and animals uh, the diseases. I'd been diving since uh, way back when, and I had found an underwater uh, pyramid in Rock Lake, Wisconsin. But they later found the pyramid, but not only the pyramid I discovered, but a whole city of pyramids under there. And um, it looks like it was an ancient civilization. Frank Joseph wrote two books about it, uh, The Lost Pyramid of Rock Lake and Atlantis in Wisconsin. And Archie Ashburn uh, actually wrote a book called The Dragon in the Lake. And they're all three very good books about the, uh, the background. And now getting back to the uh, science, I decided to uh, work on uh, the medicine, but then I started working on plants as well. Uh, and both of them turned out to be good patents. And then I was asked by NASA, and I was thinking to myself, and I told them, I said, 
space station doing great. It's going around and around the Earth. Uh, I said, I, don't, I can't help it. And they said, no, we need an economic outcome. And around 2004, I woke up and I remembered a question that I had asked my plant physiology class uh, 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 instructor and uh, professor at the University of Wisconsin, 1960. And uh, that question that he could not answer led to my writing another patent. We did six launches on the space shuttle to the International Space Station and all turned out to be quite successful. The name of the patent is the replication of undifferentiated uh, cells, a method for production, and the ex acceleration of evolution on orbit. And this is going to be a patent that's going to be so, so good for the uh, world. Uh, we have, we've also did several other uh, patents on um, uh, plants, and one of them is the uh, Zero Gravity Solutions uh, Company. Growing up on a dairy farm in northern Wisconsin led me to the type of career that I, uh, I have now and I've been through with the USDA uh, protecting plants and actually p p protecting animals as well. I credit my mother to giving me a really strong moral uh, attitude toward the world, Christianity, and uh, the love of God and uh, country. And I attribute my dad to my physical capabilities. Um, the sports I played in high school, I ran track and I um, played football and I wrestled. I joined the Wisconsin National Guard on my 17th birthday and ended up in a, as a tank driver in, in the uh, Wisconsin National Guard. The military is a great place in my heart. If it's uh, one, one word I had to summarize my life, and I would say it's motivation. Uh, I've been motivated to do all these things because there, there's a goal. My single goal would be to do everything that I can to help save this planet. And we need to motivate more people to have goals and objectives in their life. Get off that couch and move forward. Do something with your life. I've had a very exciting life uh, trying to help other people. I have six children, three boys and three girls, and I love them all. I've tried to raise them the same way that my mother raised me, and I'm trying to give them the physical attributes that my father gave to me. So I'm passing on that legacy to them. And that love and support from your family and your parents is a thing that's gonna motivate you to do as well as you can. My legacy to the world is that you, you understand that people like myself can make it. We can make it, all make it. If, if I can make it, anybody can make it. I'd like to be remembered as a person that was a very good person. I, I try to be as kind and gentle and follow the Boy Scouts rules and regulations. Uh, I want people to remember me as a hard-working, honest, conscientious man who loved the Lord and followed the rules and instructions. When you fall off the perch, what are you going to hand the, the good man upstairs uh, in, in the way of uh, your uh, accomplishments? Think about that and uh, dwell on it and maybe we'll have a better chance for you to motivate other people to do the same thing.